Okay, today we're going to look at uh, solving trig equations using the TI-84 graphing uh, calculator. Just a note here that uh, solving trig equations, basically you would use the same techniques as you would use if you're solving a linear equation or a quadratic equation. You could use factoring methods and uh, quadratic formula and so forth. But uh, we're going to focus on the, uh, on the graphing calculator, in this case of TI-84. So we're going to solve each equation for solutions in the interval given. So the interval we want is from 0 degrees, including 0 degrees, to 360. Uh, 360 will not be included. Okay, they repeat from 0 to 360, they start repeating. So uh, sometimes, sometimes they'll ask you, they want it in the, you know, from 0 to 360, or sometimes if you're dealing with radians, it'll be 0 radians to 2 pi radians. Again, open here because we don't include the 2 pi. Okay, it's anything in between. Now, if we want the if we want the complete solution, then all we have to do is add a multiple of uh, either if you're dealing with uh, working with three uh, degrees, a multiple of 360, or you're working with radians, a multiple of uh, of 2 pi. Okay, so let's let's clear this. So in these examples, I'm going to use degrees. And then if they want the answer in radians, you can easily convert those. So the first thing you want to do is uh, to calculator here. And we go to mode and set it to degrees if it's not already there. Dealing with radians, you leave it on radian here. So basically what are you, we're going to use a uh, graphing uh, technique here. So I just remind you that if you have, say, uh, something like y equal f of x, And in this case, the f of x is going to represent an expression involving trig functions. It could be sine, cosine, okay? So you have y equal f of x. I'll point, point out that the, that the zeros of f of x, which we went over in the last video, are actually the solutions to this equation. f of x is equal to 0. So you can find the zeros of this expression here. Then you have the solutions. Okay. So let's uh, clear this. Sine of theta is equal to 1x. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here. So if I want to put this in the, in the form that I needed, I would write it as uh, sine, of, sine of theta or sine of x, whatever it turns out to be. Uh, minus one half is equal to to y. So if I when I come over here on this right here, I would enter sine of okay. I'm just going to use x, just a variable. So it could be x, it could be theta. I'm just going to use x here, and then I want this set equal to zero. So I would have it in the form y equal f of x. Okay, so that would mean then I would enter sine of x minus one half or let me just put 0.5 same thing now if i just so what i do, want to do now is just look at the graph of this and wherever this graph crosses the x-intercept or the x-axis i should say uh, in this particular interval that correspond to the solutions so if i just hit the graph we get something like this Okay. Now, if you don't get a graph, a nice graph out of this, then go to zoom and hit number seven or Z trig. Okay. So there I have the uh, graph again. And now what I'm going to do is just trace this. So hit the trace button. And go up this curve. Okay, so notice we have x equal 30, and this equation is in degrees, y equals 0. So there's a there's an intercept. So 30 degrees is a solution. I have a solution here for your convenience here. So we have that. Okay, so we want them in the interval from 0 to 360. And then we just keep going. And then slow down when you get to the close to the x-axis x again. And there I get, as soon as you get to zero, that tells you that that's, that's the solution again. So 150, there it is. 
degrees is a zero. So it's a solution to the to the equation. And then we continue. So again, we want we want to stay in the interval from from zero to three sixty, not including the three sixty. Okay, so look at this value here, x is equal to 330, so we continue. And see, there we get to 360. So we can stop. We've got all the solutions. Now, if I keep going, if I keep going, notice I get 390, y equals 0. 390 is also a solution, okay? 390 will also be a solution, but it's outside the interval, okay? So basically, uh, if a, if a trig equation has one solution, it's going to have an infinite solution set because they just keep repeating as you go with just adding uh, the, uh, the period of the function, okay, which in this case would be uh, 360. So if I wanted to, com if I wanted the complete solution uh, here, I would just say, okay, the complete solution would be 30 degrees plus n times 360 degrees. I multiple 360. Another, another set would be 150 degrees plus n times 360, or 360 times n, where n represents an integer. So I'm getting all the different solutions. Okay, infinite. There will be negative uh, values and positive values. Okay, because n could be uh, any integer. Okay, but they want them in this interval right here. Now, if if it, if they want them, if they want the answer in in radians, and you can convert the thirty degrees easily to uh, radians, pi over six, pi is one eighty, so one eighty divided by six is thirty, or one fifty would be in radians five pi over six. Okay, you can easily convert those. Okay, so let me clear this, and let's go to the next one. Okay, so here we have uh, 2 cosine of x, sine of x minus cosine of x equals 0. Now, if I was working this, if I was working this without the graphing and cal calculator here, I would factor out the cosine, just like you do something like x squared minus uh, x is equal to 0. Factor out the common factor, set each factor equal to 0, and you can solve it. So you can solve these the same way, okay? But we're using the, we're using the calculator here. Now, the, now the, the method I'm using here works nice if your answers are exact, okay? That we didn't get anything with decimals yet, okay? So let's look at this one here. Uh, let's clear this. And we'll put uh, 2 cosine. Again, I'm going to use uh, x in this one. It's x already there, so x. And then sine of x. Minus cosine of x and then again I'm going to hit the graph and again we're looking for solutions in interval from 0 to 360 you can, you can include 0 degrees but not the 360 so you can see we have a, a 0 there 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 okay so as long as you're in that interval that particular interval it's a solution so here I, I just hit the trace key okay so let me come back over here okay so you look at the x is 30 if the y is equal to 0 then that corresponds to a 0 or a solution so 30 degrees is a solution then I continue okay keep going and slow down when you get close to the x-axis Okay, I get x equal 90 at that point, and the y value is 0. That tells me that's a, uh, an x-intercept, so it means 90 is a 0 or a solution. 90 degrees, there it is. Okay, then I continue. Slow down here. Okay, 150 at that point. y is 0. Okay, y 50 is a 0 or a solution of this equation, 150. And we keep going. Okay, here I get 270, y is equal to 0, that's a solution. And I keep going. When I get to 360, I can stop, because that's, that's, uh, that's the interval that we're looking at. 
Okay, I got the 360. I'm past 360. Now, if I keep going, I'll be, I'll be getting other solutions, okay? I'm getting other solutions, but I'm just looking for solutions in the, the main or the basic solutions from 0 to 360. Okay, so there we have 30 degrees, 90 degrees, 150, and 270. We can multiply each of those by pi over 180 to, to get into uh, radians if you want, but uh, here we do it in degrees. So clear this. And then I'll clear this. Now again, this method works nice if you have exact solutions. Okay, so let's look at the next one. 3 sine squared x minus 4 sine x is equal to a negative 1. Okay, so again, I want this to equal to 0, so I can put it in this format here. So uh, this would be 3 sine squared x minus 4 sine x plus 1 equals 0. So that would correspond to the f of x. So that's what I'm going to graph. So I enter then. Uh, 3 and this means this means sine squared x so that's like this whole thing in parentheses so the, uh, here I would have to put this in parentheses and then sine of x close parentheses and enter another parentheses and then a square a square and then it's uh, minus 4 sine of x and then plus 1 okay so now if I hit graph here and get this here so now I'm going to do a trace Okay, so the first intercept is right there at that point there. So I'll go and wait, if y is equal to zero, I get a zero a solution. And there it is. X equal 90. Okay, remember I have the calculator set to uh, degrees, so this means 90 degrees, y equals zero. So there's the uh, solution set. 90 degrees is one solution. I can add 360 to that and I get another solution, okay? But I'm only looking at those in that particular interval. Okay, so now I keep going on the trace here. Okay, so I should be coming up in another solution. So notice I passed the point and I don't get zero here. So this is one you can see, you can see by the answers where they're not uh, uh, these are rounded off, so I didn't get an exact answer here. So if you don't get an exact answer, what you want to do is, uh, and let me just keep going through the whole thing so you can see. I come back over here. Okay, I'm getting down to a, to the x-axis, so I'm going to have another solution somewhere around here. I've already passed the 360 here. So let's come back. And I missed one solution here, right in here, at this point right here, less, uh, smaller than 90 degrees. So if I keep do, I can do the trace here, again, I don't get an exact answer here. So if you're going through the trace method and, it, and you don't get y equals 0 for that particular value, what you want to do is go to Calculate here, so hit the second key here, and then we're looking at calculate, and what do we want? A zero, so two. Hit two. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go to the left of where you see the zero being, and hit enter. Notice over here, it's giving you a left bound. Okay, so you want you want to bound the zero, so hit enter. Now it's right bound, so go past that point. Okay, let's go past it. Okay, hit enter. And then it wants a guess. Okay, you can just uh, ignore that and hit enter again. And there you have it. You get y equals zero, so this, this is some approximation here. 19.47 and so on. I rounded it off to 19.5.
So 19.5 degrees is one solution. Okay, so let's continue here. So we already got the 90, okay. So we got another one somewhere over here. Okay, so let's hit uh, second, calculate, okay, again, zero, two. Okay, so let's go. Uh, so the next one is gonna be right somewhere in here, so we're close to the x-axis there, hit enter. Okay, now I want to right bound, so go past it, up, okay, hit enter. And this is for a guess, ignore it, hit enter again. And here I have it, 160, I've rounded it out to 160.5 degrees, y equals zero. So your solutions to this particular equation are 90 degrees, 19.5 degrees, and 160.5. And I, uh, earlier, as we saw that if I continued before I got over here, I went to past 360. So that's all the solutions that we have. Again, uh, those are the basic solutions in the interval from 0 to, in this case, 360 degrees. If you want the complete solution, okay, you simply add a multiple of uh, 360, or if you're dealing with radians, 2 pi, okay? depending on what function you're dealing with, the, the sine and the cosine have periods of uh, 360 or 2 pi, sine, cosine, secant, and, and cosecant also, tangent and cotangent have a period of, of pi, okay? So there's different uh, techniques you can use. Uh, uh, also, if you have, say, multiples of the angle, if you have like a 2x or a 3x, that's going to be a little bit different, but this is the uh, basic idea of solving trig equations. Uh, so that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.